All right, so for this example, we're being asked to solve for the variables, show the work that leads to your solution. Now, one of the things we want to take a look at here is notice that we've got several different types of angles. We've got this angle right here, we've got another one right here, and we've got this third angle over here. So we've got three different angles, and there's also two different letters that are involved, two different variables. I've got x's and I have y's. Now, when I take a look at my x variables, what I want to take a look at is their location. And if I take a look at their location, the x variable right here in this angle, 8x plus 7, is directly across from this other angle, 9x minus 4. And what I need to recognize when I see angles in that position is that those two angles are vertical angles. Now, vertical angles are equal. So when I recognize that those two angles are vertical angles, the 8x plus 7 and the 9x minus 4, and I recognize that those angles are vertical angles, then that's going to tell me that I need to set those angles equal to one another. So that's going to give me this equation here, just uh, 8x plus 7, and that's going to be equal to 9x minus 4. Now, when I have that set up, now I'm just going to go ahead and solve that equation for the letter x. And if I subtract 8x from both sides, on the left I'll just have 7, and then on the right side I'll have x minus 4. If I add 4 then to both sides, on the left I'll have 11, and on the right hand side I get just x. So the variable ends up getting a value of 11 for the letter x. Now, in order to verify that I did my arithmetic correctly, what I'm going to do next is simply take the 11, and I'm going to plug that into each one of my two angles, the 8x plus 7 and the 9x minus 4. And if I did my arithmetic correctly, uh, and 11 is the correct value for x, then these two pieces should be the same. So I'll have um, 8 times 11 plus 7. 8 times 11 is 88 plus 7. I end up with 95. Now on the other side, I've got 9x minus 4, so 9 times 11 is 99 minus 4. So again, I end up with 95. So that tells me that I did my arithmetic correctly. So these angles up in here, both of those have a value of 95 degrees. Now, the next piece I'm going to take a look at is this angle over here, the 7y minus 34. And that angle that is right there, the 7y minus 34, that angle is going to be right next to the 8x plus 7 angle and the 9x minus 4 angle. Now one of the things I want to take a look at is I can either take a look at this piece right here and say, hey, those two angles that are right next to each other in this situation, those are going to form a linear pair. And what I need to know about linear pair angles is that linear pair angles have a sum of 180 degrees. So once I know that, then I can go ahead and set up an equation to help me solve that part for y. So this time when I go to set up my equation, I'll have the uh, 95 from the first piece, that one part that I already know, either the 8x plus 7, or I could use the 9x minus 4. Either way, it's still the angle that's next to in a linear pair with 7y minus 34. So I've got 7y minus 34 plus 95. Now the 7y minus 34, so let me write that in here, plus 7y minus 34, that all adds up to 180 degrees. So the 95 and minus 34, when I combine that, I get a total of, so 7y plus, that'll be 61. So now I have 7y plus 61 equals 180 degrees. And then I just subtract 61 from both sides. So when I do that, I'll end up with, um, so if I do the subtraction, minus 61, minus 61. So remember, I'm going to have to borrow here, so I'll end up with 9. 18 minus 6 is 12, but I had to borrow one from before, so I have just 11 there. Now, what I'm going to do next is just go ahead and then divide both sides by 
7. So I end up with y equals just 17. So I get a value of 17 for y up in this situation. So that's how you solve for the variables and showing all of the work that's going to lead to our solution for this type of problem. Now I want to double check this to make sure that my arithmetic was correct. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is take a look at the 7y minus 34. And I'm going to say 7y minus 34. If I plug in that 17, 7 times 17 minus 34, uh, 7 times 17 will give me uh, 119. And then minus 34. So 119 minus 34, I end up with just, uh, let's see, that's going to give me 85. So that tells me this angle right here has a value of 85. Now I want to check to make sure these two pieces right here, which are my linear pair, that both of those have a sum of 85. So I want to double check that. So I'm just going to go ahead and take 85 and then say, you know, add the 95 for the other angle and make sure that that adds up to 180, which in this case it does. And since it does, then that means I correctly solve for both my variables x and y for this problem. 